everybody and oops well, welcome back to let's play plants vs zombies one sec guys to make a video could you keep it down a little no we're living our lives man sorry my uh my parents and my sister are in the other room they're uh yakking they're watching scrubs i think you know the old the old anyway last off we were what were we doing again hmm i have no idea yeah okay um see i haven't done the role play in a while you know what maybe next next uh Next video should just be all role play. Mm. Yeah, anyway, I've been like thinking of writing a book because I've heard of like, I've heard of uh, like kids that are like authors, I believe. Like, I believe I have. I don't know where. Like, I think it was Jeopardy. You know, the Jeopardy. Jeopardy, you're always in Jeopardy. Yeah, um, so, and I've been like, I've been thinking of this idea, um, basically, uh, have any of you out there seen G.I. Joe Revelations? Okay, so apparently, that's like, well, not G.I. Joe Revelations, I guess it's also when the Olympus has fallen, but I have not seen that movie. I, I, I heard that it's like, that it's about like, this thing about, like, a missile that's like supposed to hit the land and like, like, the other side of the world, I don't know, it's like Korean or something, it's like trying to shoot a missile, only if they try to shoot one, the US will shoot another missile to hit that missile, so I've been kind of thinking of a plot, like, like, North Korean, I'm just gonna call it North Korean. I don't really know what it is. Like, um, they actually had a plan where when the missile went for the US, um, the missile would split up into a whole bunch of other missiles so that, so that the, that the missile from the US wouldn't hit that missile. It would go past all the mini ones. And there would be 50 mini ones to hit each state. So basically, it's all from this uh, Lego figure's perspective. Um, of like, how he's this like kid, how like, he has the kid and the kid is his owner. And how he like run the class once secretly. And then the missiles hit, like, it was near the end of school, so the buses came and everything. And then the missile hit, oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, no, no, there we go. <laughs> Two times in the last episode, that's not good. Anyway, um, so there's a little boy, he's just like walking, well, not a little boy, probably 11 or 10. And he's walking, and like the missile hits around his area. You know how in GI Joe, like when the missile hits, it like breaks the ground under it and like starts making it flow and stuff. Just like basically, um, that happens. So the boy is just like going through all this heck, being shoved, thrown over by it, and gets knocked out, and then wakes up two hours later walks over and just is like looking around his classroom. Now since the little doll, I mean uh, not doll, the Lego figure was in his pocket, he survived with him too. So um, and he's just looking around like limping and he finds two people who are still alive. And maybe his teacher, I haven't figured that out yet if I'm gonna have any teacher. 
And basically his um, his classroom is the strongest classroom. All the other ones collapsed on top of each other, but this one didn't. So basically like he figures out what happens and why it came to be and like and like how they got that good of a system. So maybe for the la leftover people in C, they could fix it and send another missile to destroy their city to see what it feels like to them. But I don't know. It's just, it sounds weird to me. But it, at the same time, it sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, if you did like that, for my, for my two other subscribers, um, well, for my four subscribers, uh, just let me know um, if you would. That sounds interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? And that guy's gonna kill that guy, but this guy's gonna kill that guy before that guy gets a chance to kill that guy, but that guy killed that guy before that before that guy could before that guy could kill that guy, but the, but that guy tried to kill that guy, but this, that guy killed that guy before that guy killed that guy. If you understood that, you are insanely power, power, just, oh, just, insanely, I don't know what, just insane, you are insane. Yes, you are insane, in fact, you are insane, you don't know what to say, since you are insane, you look around and all you feel is pain, 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 you feel pain and it's good, the pain is going to gain, 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 the pain, pain, the pain is going to gain, do, 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 I always wondered, like, like not on the Gatling, but I mean on the repeaters, there's always that little bump there. And I always thought, how does that fit on there? That little bump seemed to be like sucking it, like when it shoots, how does the suck of that like get it like that? Seriously. Like, if it's putting all that pressure on that little suck, then I don't know how it's working. Uh, anyway, this is what the spike weed does. Boom, kills it instantly. It's pretty useful. Now, a bobsled wouldn't come out of that. It's too small. Um. If it has to be like out here, I believe, to send out a bobsled. Well, only on one mini game would it come out like that much, but that mini game I do not want to talk about now because it's weird. It's a weird mini game. <clears throat> Morgan and Merlin and I don't. Morgan and Merlin. I always thought that those could be like two magical people. Just like, just like two like really magical people, like wizards or something. Like a witch and a wizard. They could be really powerful and stuff together. Morgan and Merlin. That's a good name for a movie. Morgan and Merlin. And I can make that when I become a movie director if it happens. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> I'm just having fun because I know I won't have time for the next level. Why is there fire on this stump? What will fire do to help us? Find out next time after the almanac of the day. Which one have we not done? Oh, jump pea shooter. Uh, see what.
which one's funny? So we done that. Oh, let's do this. Sunflower can't resist bouncing to the beat. What, which beat is that? Why, the life jigging jazzy rhythm of Earth itself. Thumping and frequently only Sunflower can hear. Ha, we need to read a zombie one too. Um, here. Uh, no, let's do this. Wait, no, he did that one, I believe. Um, makes no mistake, Flag Zombie loves brains, but somewhere down the line, he's also picked up a fantation with flags. Maybe it's because the flags always have brains on them. Hard to say. <laughs> let's read another one. Um, read that one. I believe we read that one. I think we read that one. <laughs> Newspaper zombie is this close to finishing his Sudoku puzzle. No wonder he was freaking out. I felt that so close to the end of something and then time to go. Come on! <sighs> yeah. Alright, I will see you all tomorrow. Um, uh, actually tonight. Thank you for watching. And, yeah. Bye.